One of the topics that's been really interesting me, to me is freezer cooking. And if you've followed my blog at all in the last few months, you know that I've devoted more and more to this topic. Well, one of the reasons it's important to me to spend time with you on freezer cooking is because it's a great way to turn items that you can get on really great low stockpiles into meals. So that way you're saving time as well as saving money. Well, right now we're in the season of Lent, and as you might know, that means a lot of people like to eat fish. So if you've been paying attention, we've been seeing items such as uh, fresh cod and halibut and salmon all the way through prawns and crab on really great stockpile prices. So I want to show you some fish that my husband and I purchased. Ugh. We ended up actually with close to five pounds of it's a uh, fresh wild pacific true cod filet and i want to show you uh how we're going to turn this into two different meals i actually found this little recipe book at albertson's i mentioned it on my albertson's post last week and inside it had some great recipes for fish and this one particular caught my eye it's herb crusted cod and it only has a few ingredients, so I'm gonna be preparing that and freezing it. And then I'm also going to be making some fish burritos for my husband to take to work. So, enough talk, let's get cooking. So the first recipe that we'll be doing is the herb crusted cod. Again, I got the recipe out of this handy little booklet that I got at Albertsons last week. And what I like about it is it has just a few ingredients. So what I've done is I've mixed together the Japanese style panko crumbs. And my husband picked these up tonight at Winko. Uh, and one of the reasons I love Winko is because you can buy items in bulk. This huge bag of panko crumbs only cost $1.77. It's a great way to go. Uh, the other ingredients we mixed in here were Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. So what I've done since I'm gonna be making two dinners worth of this recipe, is I've already gone ahead and actually had my husband label these freezer bags so they're all ready to go. And I've just cut my fish into portion sized pieces. Uh, all we need to do, according to the recipe, is uh, dredge the piece of fish and the crumbs, like so. It's not really sticky. <laughs> okay. I think that's what we have. And we'll go ahead and put it in the bag. And now we're gonna continue. So I'm gonna do about um, a pound per bag, just like that. And again, we're doing this so that way instead of just having a bunch of frozen fish in the freezer, we'll actually have a couple frozen meals in the freezer, which will save us some time later. And to me, it's more inspiring anyways when I open the freezer and see actual meals than just a piece of fish, which to me isn't necessarily the most inspiring thing in the world. So that would be one dinner's worth, like the, right about like that. Just like that. Now that my hands are all great. Just gonna go ahead and seal the bag up, just like so. And then I'm gonna place it in my freezer if I can find some space. I will cram it up here. And there we go. And there you have it. I'm gonna continue with my fish and I'll be back with you in a minute to show you what I'm gonna do with the fish burritos. Hi, I'm back. Next, we're gonna be working on our second cod recipe, which is going to be a Mediterranean inspired burrito. So why burritos? Well, my husband, Terry, actually is a firefighter and he works 48 hour shifts at his station which means we really have to plan and be creative about the meals he's gonna eat up at the station if we're really gonna to continue to save money. So burritos are great because they're quick, they're portable, and we're gonna make ours a little bit healthy and a little bit fun today. So he actually found a recipe on all recipes that we're gonna use as some of the base for this recipe, but we're gonna take a couple, make a couple edits to it. So first what we have is our dry ingredients, which is like flour, baking soda, a little bit of salt that we've mixed together. And then we have, to keep things lively, a little bit of beer and eggs. So we're gonna stir these, we're actually gonna mix these together and then we're gonna dredge our fish. 
Okay, so we've gotten our batter mixture together and it's about the consistency of a pancake mixture. And what we've done is we've gone ahead and put some oil in our skillet, just about enough to cover the fish. I actually used Smart Balance. This I got for 99 cents at Albertsons after doubler coupon. So again, a good use of a product that we've gotten on a very good sale. So I've gone ahead and just filleted the fish into little strip size pieces and I'm going to go ahead and dip this in the, it's very thick, so I'm going to try to use one hand so I don't end up with two messy hands. Dip the fish into the oil and it should start to sizzle really quickly. There we go. And it's cooking. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more in there so we can make the use of the oil. Whoa. And then what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've taken another casserole dish and we've lined it with paper towels so we can start to absorb some of the oil uh, off of the fish once they are cooked. So I guess I'm just going to let these cook for a couple minutes and I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. And then when I'm all done with the fish, I'll come back and we'll go ahead and assemble our burrito. Okay, so I just wanted to show you really quick the color that you're looking for on this fish. Uh, when you flip it, uh, you'll see that it's nice and golden brown and crispy, just like that. And that's exactly what you're looking for. And it's taking us, oh, about two to three minutes per side to get that color. So I just wanted to show you what you're looking for. Hi, I'm Gary. I'm Angela's husband, and I'm here joining the Coupon Project. So to start off, um, I'm going to show you my contribution to this uh, meal, which is the toppings. Um, that are going to go um, onto the fish right here. That's nice and golden brown. Um, my toppings that I chose are Mediterranean inspired um, just because uh, I like them and that's what we're going to put in. <laughs> so starting off with the dill, followed by chopped olives, basil, lemon zest, lemon juice, sun-dried tomatoes, minced garlic, capers with some reserved juice, and feta cheese. So let's go ahead and get started uh, making these and uh, we'll see what we got. Alright, so we're back and what we got here is the mixed up uh, ingredients and they look pretty darn good. And so what we're going to do with that is we're going to take the fish and we're going to put the fish right in the center of the tortilla. It's a multi-grain tortilla um, and whatever you can do to kind of make your dish just a little bit healthier, um, go ahead and try to do that. Um, it's always a plus. So we're going to take our our ingredients from the sauce and just lay it right on top. And as you can see, I'm going to enjoy this when I'm at work. Alright, so once you get that, then you want to go ahead and wrap it up. Alright, wrap it up. And then you want to make sure you use heavy duty foil. Um, the reason why is we're going to be sticking this in the freezer and you don't want the freezer to damage your food. So heavy duty foil is the way to go. Alright, and once you got it wrapped up, we're going to take a pen, we're going to date it, and we're going to also state what it is so we don't get confused with any other freezer meals. And there you go. Okay, so there you have it. We finished our freezer meals for tonight with the cod. So here's what we ended up with. We made 12 of the cod burritos that uh, Terry will take to work and one of these will be a meal for him. Then we decided that the cod looked, tasted, and smelled so good, just as is, that we reserved some of the meat just in um, freezer bags to have as fish and chips later. So I would guess that each of these bags that we have here would be about a couple servings. So we have the 12 burritos and those. And then if you'll remember, we did the uh, herb crusted cod earlier. And each one of these bags has four servings. So there you have it. We could have just shoved the fish into the freezer, but probably in about an hour's time, we put together all of these different meals. So we've saved money and we've saved time. It's a great way to go. And I hope I've convinced you a little bit to think about doing some freezer cooking.